Hello. Oh, hello, hello, hello. <laughs> we had some Channel 4 music there whilst we were trying to get in touch with you. Henry O'Donovan from Sydney. Oh, oh, are we live, Peter? We are. That was your cue, Henry. I'm so excited. I know, you know, you know what, I'm a bit rusty. Uh, right. I don't have cues anymore because I record everything. And I, you know, it's, uh, it's rather nerve-wracking going live. Is it? Okay. Well, you, what shake, is for me? you can shake in your boots, mate. I don't care. <laughs> You heartless man. I am. I've been, I've been listening to your programs whilst I've been uh, off duty over the, over the last few weeks, and you're very good. I don't want to make you too big-headed, but you are pretty good. <laughs> but it's in your bones, isn't it? It's in the blood. I don't know. You know what, Peter? I'm always very careful when you say things like that, no. because I always expect a punchline. No, 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 punchline, no credit where it's due. It's in your you family. You are too kind. It, you are too kind. It, it is in your family, though, isn't it? Tell yes, us about that. Tell so. us about that. Tell us about that. Well, I don't know. I mean, really, uh, to be honest with you, uh, my mother was a model. My father um, was an actor, but didn't do very well with that, and uh, played the piano. Um, my grandfather was a scriptwriter and actor and producer and writer back in the 1930s through to the 1950s, along with Jimmy O'Dea, and we've talked about that before. And uh, me, well, I'm this kind of vagrant who runs around the planet and uh, ended up in Australia. I was at one stage working for Radio Nova mm -hmm. with you. Yeah. And of course, um, you know, you, 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 were, you played Ab Abracadabra, that song from the 1980s. Yeah. And you mentioned that uh, you uh, used to eat at Abracadabra. Yeah, after, after a few pints. After yeah. a after a few pints. Hmm. I actually, you know, uh, as you will understand, and, and I hope your listeners will understand this too, when you worked in Radio Nova back in Ireland and many of the stations, you put on many different hats. And one of my hats was to go out and sell advertising. And I got the ad campaign for Abracababra. And so I thought it was so funny when you mentioned oh, wow. Abracababra because right. I hadn't thought about that for 20 years. Yeah, uh, yeah. Hey, and the money was good, wasn't it? Oh, fantastic. Yeah. I mean, you know... Every, every oh, Harry knew how to pay. Oh, definitely, yeah. I don't know why you never got a knighthood. Um, I, remember well, I think I do. Yeah. Oh, all right. <laughs> okay. Uh, we won't go into that. But um, no. the £100 deals for Radio Nova earned the guy 40 quid. You got 40 quid for every 100 you sold. Brilliant, wasn't it? Absolutely oh, fabulous. That's what I loved about um, Chris Carey. He, hmm. he, was, he was a generous man. And... You know, the thing was, if you were crap, you got fired. Actually, everyone got fired anyway, but yeah. they got taken back the next day. Mm. But the, the point I'm making here is that if, if he saw talent, he took you on. He didn't care if you had a degree. He didn't care what your history was. If you were right on air, he'd let you stay on air. And that's what I loved about that man. I remember standing at the reception in Radio Nova in Herbert Street one day with Dave Malone. Uh, right. And we were talking to Jason Maine. And Chris Carey walked Jason in. Pace. Yes. Chris Carey walked in and said, You, you and you, whenever I come in, you're just standing around doing nothing. You're all fired, all three of you. Go on, get the <laughs> hell out. And he stormed <laughs> off. The thing was, <laughs> yeah, Jason got the job back again the next day. But of actually, uh, myself and Dave Malone, we weren't actually working there at the time. He sacked people who didn't even work for him. I know. <laughs> now, yes, he sacked some guy from RTE. Get from away. <laughs> to FM, which is called Radio Two at the time. Uh, yeah. Oh, uh, and I saw this on, a, on a, a television show on TV3 in Ireland called yeah. Bring Back Radio Nova, but this guy was going, I was just going up to see a couple of my mates in Nova, and this guy worked on 2FM, Radio oh. 2, yeah. and uh, Chris Carey said, you're fired. And he says, but I don't even work here. <laughs> and he goes, well, yeah, fired anyway. Yeah, I think I know <laughs> who it is. A lot of expletives involved as I well. I think I know who it is, yeah, but we better not say because he's still there. <laughs> <laughs> is he really? <laughs> yes, I know who you mean. Yeah, and lots of listeners will know who you mean as well. Yeah, all right. Well, Listen, it's, it's been Dave, lovely Peter, to talk to you. It's, 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 it's actually fantastic to have you back live on the air because oh, I'm sick of 
I'm listening to your repeats, uh, and it's time we had right. more abuse from you in real time. Okay, all right. Well, you can we can rely on that. Um, uh, people can watch this interaction on our Facebook page on Atlantic Radio and on our, on our individual Facebook pages as well. So um, just you, telling all the listeners now, if they're if they're not already on Facebook, it is free to join, and all you have to do is give a few bits of information about yourself, uh, offer yourself to me or to Henry, and we'll accept you as friends, and you can follow on the wall. So, That's uh, because we are nice people. We really are, yeah. When are you coming home? Hey. When are you coming home? Any plans? Home? To, yeah, any plans to come back to <laughs> Ireland? This is my home. I've been here 21 years. Yeah, well, all right. <laughs> any plans to come back to Ireland? Uh, well, I was there last year, and um, I can't believe I didn't try and meet up with you. Why mm. didn't I try and meet up with you? When everybody I was there? thought I was I dead. I was in contact with you. No, everybody thought I died. That, that's why. <laughs> it, uh, it's it's well, true. It's true. I was, mm, Peter. I I was there last year, and mm. you know, it's kind of weird because I got to the UK in 24 hours from Sydney. And this is amazing technology that I never, ever get used to, you know? Mm. The concept of crossing the entire planet in one day. Mm. Wow. Uh, and the thing is, it's really the expense. You know, it's, it's very expensive. And, it's, you know, my girlfriend was shocked when we went into a pub in Dublin in May last year. And uh, sorry, it was, it was actually the year before. And uh, someone ordered a gin and tonic. We decided to buy someone drinks, a couple of people drinks, um, in Monkstown, uh, in South Dublin. And uh, a gin and tonic cost twenty one Australian dollars. Get away! <laughs> we were just blown away. How did the Irish get drunk? It must cost oh. a friggin' fortune. Well, we, we can't get gooners here for ten dollars, you know. Goon. Well, you can here. Yeah, I <laughs> bet you are. you're drinking one right now. I can tell. <laughs> no, actually, I'm drinking. I'm drinking a red wine, um, a Grenache from ten years ago. Oh, that's right. a beautiful drop. All right, good. good. And for a change, I'm not actually drunk on your show. Mm, oh, right. Maybe I should. I've only got I five. Go I've only got five minutes <laughs> left. You know, I've only got five minutes left, and I've given you ten yeah, already. I let you go. <laughs> yeah. All right. So, so your program's coming up soon, uh, as on Replay Radio, as Bond iTunes. Yeah. Yep, that's right. And thank you so much for your kind comments about my show. Yeah. Um, I am a mere newsreader trying to be a DJ, yeah, uh, but I will keep trying, and I will and, and I will be trying. Trust me. Very. And uh, <laughs> don't be so modest. It's so good to talk to you, Peter. Thank you. It's good to talk to you too. Um, okay, all the normal listeners can retune back in again. <laughs> Thanks a lot, yes, Henry. Uh, talk to you I'll again just, soon. Hang on a sec. Hang yeah, on a sec. I yeah. just want to let your listeners know that you can, you can go to um, obviously your station, but it's also broadcasting. Uh, all my archive shows are on uh, bondiTunes dot com, hmm. and they're archive shows. And uh, we put lots of stuff in there, so I just thought I'd plug that. We'll send you an invoice for that one. <laughs> Thanks a lot. Thanks a lot. See, Harry O'Donovan on in four minutes' time. Wow. Great, great, great to hear from him.